Today's the day we're going to start the Bomb Cycle 360. We're up against the weather. A couple of drops of rain have already fallen. But anyways, this, this startup, it won't have the cam break in because it's a roller cam. That's a good thing. But uh, we still got to look for leaks. Um, I got my timing gun here ready. So uh, we can check the timing. I have my mechanical oil pressure gauge running into the interior. So, uh, cause the oil pressure gauge didn't work on this. Um, other than that, it's gone pretty smooth. I have not tried to start it yet. And another thing is I don't know if my rotor's pointing the right way or not. I, we turned the crank over, uh, going to, uh, tighten the, you know, put in the torque converter bolts and stuff. So I don't know, I'm either 180 on or 180 off. So that makes sense. Let me try again. Either I'm on or 180 off. That, that sounds a little bit more reasonable. So we're going to look for gas leak here. Shouldn't be. Going to look for any kind of a water leak. I only put water in here, straight water. Um, when I first put it in, this was leaking. So I redid this real quick. But I only put straight water in here to run it for just a little bit you know, day or two, flush the block out, sort of take it all out, and then I can go to, you know, to the antifreeze mix. Um, other than that, uh, we got the firing order and set. Uh, like I said, everything should be kosher to run. We'll find out. I haven't tried to start it yet. It shouldn't be hard to get the gas up here because, uh, it, you know, it was running with the 318 not too long ago. I have my mechanical oil pressure gauge inside here. And of course, the temp gauge worked too. I got a million of these little helicopter things just all over the engine. That air gap just works like a like a suction cup. Every time I turn around, and look, eight of them in there. It doesn't matter how often you look either. About eight, regardless if it's ten seconds or ten minutes. So with my wife out here, um, she's gonna holler if, if anything looks not normal. Oil squirting out, water squirting up. Um, rods hanging out of the block. She'll be there for that. We'll also give occasional glance underneath too, just just in case the uh, you know it's filling out something from underneath. Um, another thing is for those that don't know, it might look shiny and pretty, but it's really lipstick on a pig. This motor had 198,000 from Craigslist. Guy said it ran good. We don't know. We never heard it run. Um, but we did put fresh heads on it. I didn't redo the heads. They're Odessa heads. We'll see. We'll see what it does. Anything strange? No. We'll have to come back to it, guys. We're getting blasted. It's it 
It's coming. We're heading in. Well, now we're just getting a couple of drops. I can overlook that. Anyways, I would like to get some heat to the engine. So we're going to go ahead and hook this back up. Timing light. I got my oil pressure gauge out here. I saw it rise in there to about 70. So we'll go ahead and leave it out here. Then I don't have to see it. It looks like it's going to give us a good report. I'm going to go ahead and pop off the air cleaner so I can see if we have any leaks or anything like that. The wind died down. With the wind, all those little helicopter things right in the carburetors where they wanted to go. All right. It's idling at 20 degrees initial. I'm going to leave it there until we get some heat to it. Guys, this this bracket is still the two barrel. This bracket here is still the two barrel bracket. I just bent the tabs down there instead of it going on the side like a LA would be. I just put it right on top like a like a, uh, the Magnum is. So this right here, I just bent this ear. Works perfect. I'll have to have my wife get in there and floor it and make sure everything is going wide open. Make sure my kick down's going back like it should. But I mean, it's gonna work. Next time around, we'll be out tuning on it. <laughs>